Well, my first memories of watching Preston North End was the Tom Finney era. Uh, and uh, I have some really happy memories because in those days, Preston always seemed to win. So yeah, it was a good time. Good time to be a Preston North End supporter. I'm born and bred in Preston and I've been a lifelong Preston North End supporter. And I do remember Tom Finney saying, uh, hope springs eternal and never more so than at the start of a new football season. And I think that's true. You've always got hope for the future. Happy memories of the past, some great memories. And um, Preston North End is a way of life for me, for my family. Some of my very early memories of watching Preston are going on with my dad and uh, our extended family at the time, my dad's brother and other cousins, and watching people like Alex Bruce, uh, uh, Mickey Elvis, and players like that, and being mesmerised by it all, really, and the management there, Nobby Styles, and a lot of these back in those days were, were household names and uh, it was a fantastic time to be going on. There was a lull in football soon after that, and then it's lifted again more recently. Uh, but they were very happy times, and that's lived with me and been passed to my family as well. They've got the bug, and they like they love coming on now. I love Preston then because I can see my favourite players and I can see Deep Dale Duck. I think my earliest memory that I have of watching Preston North End uh, was an evening game, uh, evening kick-off. I can remember coming up uh, from below the stands, the old West Stand, the old wooden stand as it was back then. Uh, and it was, uh, from memory, it was a game against West Ham, um, maybe in the cup, something like that. Uh, but I was quite young back then, but I can just remember coming up. There's always something quite special about a, a night game, an evening game at Deepdale. Uh, the lights, the atmosphere, there was a big, big crowd on that night. Uh, and I just remember the feeling uh, that I got uh, from walking into a stadium. And, and you can't quite describe walking in on an evening game and, 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 and that buzz and that atmosphere. And that, that's a memory that stuck with me uh, for, the, for the rest of my life. I do recall the um, playoff semi-final when Preston beat uh, Birmingham at Deepdale on penalties. I remember going to the away leg and uh, the Preston fans were chanting, one nil is not enough, you know. Uh, and sure enough, Preston got a draw at home, went into extra time, penalties, and it was just a magical night when um, Preston got through. And we were so full of hope for the final, but it just didn't quite happen for us on the day. But it did later when uh, we got to the playoff final uh, to get into the championship and it just couldn't have gone better on the day. Marvellous, really, really great day. My most favourite games really, uh, there's so many over the years. The one that everyone will probably talk about is the semi-final against Birmingham to get to the playoff final. That was an amazing night. The club was in a sort of a rebirth stage with new stands being built um, and you could actually feel the stand when we actually scored the winner in the penalty shootout at the end of the game. You could actually feel the stand vibrate and it was an incredible night and people that you didn't know around you were just uh, so happy and pleased that the club had progressed to the final because it had been a real topsy-turvy end to the season. It was just an incredible night, an incredible feeling. And it's that sort of adrenaline rush that I think keeps you coming back to watch football and especially Preston North End. And once it's in your heart at Preston, uh, it's, it's, with you, it's in your heart forever. If I think I was to pick uh, a couple of games that I recall, uh, the first one undoubtedly for me uh, is not only my uh, favourite memory of a, of a North End game, but actually it's, it's my... It's my absolute sporting moment in my life today, and I don't know what was going to top it, unless North End get promoted to the Premiership or win the uh, win the cup, and that was the Birmingham second leg uh, playoff semi-final where we'd um, we'd lost away one nil. That evening, I just can't describe it. It was an evening that had everything. It was a real roller coaster of emotions. 
uh, the game sort of panned out. We'd, we'd drawn level on aggregate. Uh, I can remember Graham Alexander getting a penalty. Graham, Graham Alexander, of course, who'd never missed a penalty all season. Uh, from memory, smacked it against the bar that night. So there was that, there was that elation when we got the penalty. There was then that, you know, desperation with about 15 minutes to go. Uh, and we thought that was it. And then uh, John Mackin hitting the post, Mark Rackin running in, slotting the ball in, extra time. It was just, it was just a night to remember. The, the penalties, we had the whole drama where Trevor Francis, you know, refused and took his players off for a good half an hour because he didn't want to kick in towards the, towards the end that we were sat in, etc. It was just a night like no other. And I, I can honestly say the goal, the goal that Mark Rankin scored that night is the only goal in my life that I've, I can't say I've cheered. I, I literally just screamed. Um, I can remember it really, really well because it was a, I shot forward with my arms forward and I was, you know, screaming and everybody around me was screaming. Uh, and I can remember the bloke next to me sort of stopping at one point and looking down towards the ground. And uh, I sort of looked at him and said, you know, what's, what's the matter? And he, he said, well, I've lost my glasses. And I'd been that excited as I jumped forward, I'd put my little finger right through his lens of his glasses and his glasses were hanging off my, my little finger. And I just looked at him and said, well, here they are. And he just embraced me and we, we jumped around. We didn't know each other, but we just, we just had a fantastic evening. And the whole night that night was just something that, again, will live with me forever. The other one, uh, when we played Arsenal, actually, you know, we went 2-0 up against Arsenal in the Cup. Uh, who'd have thought it? And, and what a night that was. Unfortunately, they crept back and airs got sent off and various bits and pieces. But just that, for me, is what football is about. That's what Preston North End is about because it's, it's that roller coaster of emotions. Uh, you can go through a lot of, ge a lot of games and, uh, you know, OK, the games and that's fine, but, but sometimes just for that... that that experience, that one, that one moment that is just, that's, that's why you're a football supporter. When Deepdale's full, it's, it's an incredible feeling to walk up from the concourse into the stadium and, and see the ground full. It really is a great feeling. It must be amazing for the players to come out and uh, it just lifts the town as well when the club are doing well. It's when Preston are doing well, it's the talk in all the offices, in all the warehouses and factories and workplaces for people. And it really, you know, if they've had a good weekend and there's been a good result, or they're on a good run, or there's a good cup draw, like there was against Manchester United last season, it gives people a real buzz and it's something to talk about. And people um, who enjoy football, and because it's had a real resurgence, um, I'd like to think that, you know, they'd think of Preston North End, especially them coming on if they're local people living in Preston to support the local club. It's a family club. It's a fantastic club. The club do a lot for the families with bingo nights and all sorts of different things. But it's a great feeling coming on, especially when the ground is full and you really feel that atmosphere and you hear the noise. Sometimes when it's that noisy, you can't even talk to the person next to you because the noise is just so deafening. Preston Northern means to me um, a good side, uh, a good soul, because they are my favourite team. I don't support anybody else because they mean to me a lot because they do make my day. Preston North End means to me personally an awful lot. It's the first topic of conversation whenever you get together and whenever I get together with family and friends. I'm very fortunate that I come on with my dad and my brother and our children and it, it's just a real focus Preston. Uh, all the children love it, our friends love it and everybody's got a different opinion in football and that's what makes it such a, an attractive proposition when you come on and uh, you know everybody's got their own ideas of how it should be done and who should be playing and who should be doing what so it's a real buzz when the club do well and everybody goes away happy. My dad brought me on uh, when I was young he's, he's brought uh, my brother on my sister on uh, so Preston North End for me is about tradition it's about history uh, not only for the club but for us as, as a family as well um, uh, and, and uh, you know, it, it becomes part of your life, you know, it does become part of your life. Uh, I, I love the fact that North End has such a rich history, you know, we're a founding member of the Football League. 
We're the first team to do the double. Uh, we're the one and only club of the legend that is Sir Tom Finney. Um, so to be a part of that, you know, we are, we are capable of great things and, and we love coming down because when we achieve great things and when we're going to achieve great things in the future, uh, as a family, we want to be part of that and we want to have a best seat in the house and, and, and enjoy those experiences and those great times.